quite so, you know, I try my best to be engaged and, and not really a spectator. We have to, uh, you know, I have no real qualms about uh, standing for elections, standing for real elections among my peers, uh, running for uh, the high court of the state. And uh, there's something to saying that, that, that drives us to do that. I think it's the confidence that I, that, that I may have learned or developed here. But uh, with respect, I, I do want to comment on a couple of things. Like the time to draw a paragraph, I didn't really zero in on this quite so much. So I'm going to be flying up to the fifth grade in New Orleans. Uh, this is a paragraph, you know, what exactly, how do you define them? They're intangible. They're intangible. They're intangible. I mean, they're, they're, uh, and, and, they're, and they're similar, but yet they're the same. We can read this prior to zero in on that bit. Uh, character is, is sort of the aggregate number of qualities about the person or about the entity or about the business. And, uh, you know, you can use the word character in a lot of respects. And, and I know that, that uh, Martin Luther King said, I look forward to that when all Americans will be judged solely by the content of their character. Of their character. The best school framework item is the character of home. What, what are we talking about? We're talking about these intangible qualities that we sort of know what that is when we see it. We know what we, we know what that is when we hear about it. And there's good character and bad character, right? So, yeah. and, and, and similarly, reputation and, and brand are on intangible. You know, you don't really, uh, you, can't, you can't make your reputation. It, it, it comes from out there, but it's, but it's depending on how you live your life and what qualities of character you have. Branding on those things, I know. This is the expert on, on, on this subject matter. I have a quick thing about this subject matter. I'm going to try to zero in and educate myself on this subject matter. But branding is something that the person can do that. So what? Branding is something that if you can develop on your own and put forth the message that you want to protect. So all of the seniors you're about to go to college, you created a brand during your time here at West, right? You, you're a scholar, you may be a scholar athlete, you may be a scholar artist, you may be a scholar uh, environmentalist. But all of you are scholars because you're at the West. The, the branding of that is how do you look? What do you wear? How do you wear your hair? How do you wear your makeup? What type of glasses do you have? On? How do you shake hands with other people? Do you stand up when you play the wall in the room? Are you nice to people? That's your brain. Do you treat the poor person as well as you treat the president of the United States? And everything you do, every interaction you have with the public, every interaction that you have with each other, every internet interaction you have, every text you have, everything that you do that promotes either yourself, your message, your thought, your picture, is part of your brand and it goes into building a brand over time. So I have a quick question. In the audience, who has an iPhone raise your hand? Who has a Samsung? Who, who has a Motorola? Does anybody here have a Blackberry? But you notice that most people have iPhones and then people have Samsung. Anybody have a Google phone? Some people have Google phone. Somebody tell me which of all of those brands has the best reputation for security. So, yes, for, for security purposes, BlackBerry has the best reputation. Blackberry 
days you all with the commercials of people taking pictures of flowers or slow motion pictures and they tell you a phone that has four or five or six different cameras, etc., etc. And because all of us in the room take selfies and post online and these things, that's what becomes important. However, for security purposes, you probably would be best with a black belt. So all good phones, but they all serve different purposes and they promote themselves differently than when they're marketing. You know, last year, I think the last part of the month, according to my input, I was brought in, but I've been here. You know, November of last year, and November of two years ago, we talked about the, uh, the issue of what problems are just behavior. One thing about social media is that it's been tightening your brain. You know, I, in, in my case, I was going to plan for the rest of my life as I sat where you sit. I had no plan for the rest of my life. I'm just telling you. 
I'm not. And I'm not because I've managed to, to have some level of success in life, mainly because I've treated others with the maximum amount of respect. I've treated community for rich and poor with the maximum amount of respect. And I've become an excellent banker because I've done so. So part of my job is to, to bring bank products in all neighborhoods, all communities. So I don't just concentrate on rich communities, I concentrate on all communities because there's gold in their hair here. Right? And so people won't want to do business with me if they sense I'm condescending or I think they're less than, less than us, less than. I treat people as if they're more than. And so I think you students should uh, you matriculate out of web or if you're coming through web, make sure you treat your fellow web students and the teachers and the faculty and the people that serve you well. Because if you can do that with people you see every day, you interact with every day, you're more likely to do that with new people that you encounter. Snapchatting, then turns and says, well, who's 
like I was a nobody. They disrespected the mayor, the people in the room. And I didn't care what type of service they had to offer. Because I didn't want that sort of person representing the best. So, it goes back to what we're saying. The people are watching you all the time. You don't need Snapchat or text for people to be watching. Everyone's watching each other all the time. And how you behave in those moments when you think no one's watching you will determine how you're perceived in the moments when people actually are watching.
value excellence. We value service. We value uh, people, people first. And, and, and my unit, and, and I, I manage some people. And, and so every time I interview someone for a job, I talk to them about their roles, their responsibilities. But I also tell them in, in, in my world, family first. Then community, then the man. Family, community, then the man. And if they agree with that, I'll give them a shot. If they don't agree with that, no shot. And so the phrase, you better agree your ancestors, doesn't mean for me, you know, leave my kids a whole bunch of money. It means leave them a whole bunch of character. It's great, buddy. I think we have time for one last talk, and, and uh, the class of 1972, my class, has received a message, and I thought it, I thought it important, a message from a special, a special, very special person. I thought it was important to share that with you. Yeah. 